Let us close our eyes and take some deep cleansing breaths from this sacred and ancient place. As we breathe in, see that we are centering and our consciousness is expanding. As we exhale, become very relaxed and release all negativity, tension and fears and feel yourself settling into a deep peace. We breathe in light and life and the expansion of mind while fully expanding our lungs. And as we exhale, we release all things, all attachments, and become perfectly centered and at peace. As we sit here together in silence, we watch our breath as it goes in and out. And we see that we are centered in a vast ocean of silent consciousness. Gently, without straining, allow yourself to see the awakeness that is watching the breath. Observe that you are awake and that this awakeness is silent. Now, see that this awake mind, which is still and steady, is observing all the sounds, the thoughts, the feelings, all perceptions, and yet the mind itself is quiet. Dive deeply into this vast ocean of quiet awareness. Going more deeply now, see that all the perceptions are receding, becoming more distant and quiet, and you are being established more deeply in this infinite ocean of awakeness within. You see that it is easy to simply be awake and perceive awakeness itself, neither pushing away other perceptions nor straining to no awakeness. Effortlessly, simply be awake and aware of that mind that is conscious and quiet within us. Now. Settle more deeply into this ocean of quiet awareness where all perceptions are like distant ripples on the surface of the ocean. Perceive that this vast awake mind extends infinitely in all directions. And you see that this awakeness is omnipresent. It is not bound by space or time. And so it is infinite, and it is eternal. This is the true nature of the awakeness whereby we perceive our own breath, our own self, sight, sounds, thoughts. We feel the joy and peace of knowing that this awake being, this mind, is ever present within us. Now, releasing ourselves from all attachment to perception or even self, we see the unbounded quality of this awakeness as universal. And every person in this circle is awake. And while we are unique individuals, the light of awareness is a singularity. And that awakeness is one and we are being one in many bodies, one light illuminating every soul and conscious mind. We see this same vast awakeness permeating the earth beneath us and expanding into the sky above us. Omnipresent, it is awake in all places. 
and soaring on the wings of this vast and limitless awareness, we expand upwards into the sky, and we see that the entire earth is shining in the light of this awakeness, and beyond us, space, and the planets of our solar system, all spinning, swimming, in an ocean of awake cosmic mind. Now, effortlessly, we dive into this vast cosmic awareness and find the infinite peace, an infinite, endless awareness permeating the entire creation. And we behold that this cosmic mind, this omnipresent awareness, is always indivisible and is the same awakeness where we are conscious here and now and always. There is no separation. There is eternal oneness. Being thus awake, we now perceive that the universe, which is itself endless, has advanced extraterrestrial life forms, and all are awake even as we are conscious. And through this connection, we are one. We know that there is one conscious being shining, standing within all life. And through that, we connect to them. As we gaze across the cosmos, through the galaxies, within the Milky Way, within even our own solar system and around the Earth. We allow ourselves to see any extraterrestrial people with their beautiful celestial spacecraft. And as we see them, we ask permission to gaze within. And as we see these beings, we invite them to join us here on Earth as we join together as people celebrating the time of universal peace and the establishment of an enlightened civilization on earth. As we see each of these beings, we see that they are connected to an interplanetary council, highly evolved, spiritual, and ambassadorial in nature. We invite them to join us here as we show them our galaxy. And as we zoom in ever more closely to our solar system, we show them this beautiful planet Earth, the third planet from our star, the Sun. As we connect to their minds and to their guidance system, we show them our exact location. As we come zooming in more closely, we show them this field with our circle, and we invite them here at this time and place, in a spirit of universal peace, acknowledging our oneness with them through the universal awake being within us, this cosmic mind shared by all beings. Now, as we see these beings aware of us and in our mind's eye, we see them we ask that they join us at this time in a meditation and a prayer for Earth and for its transition to the time of its destiny as a place of peace and enlightenment. Let us now take each other's hands as we do this. As we connect with each other, we see that there are extraterrestrial beings, celestial beings, the great prophets and the enlightened ones, all joining with us. And we send from person to person around this circle, counterclockwise, a golden light in our conscious awareness, a beautiful astral light empowered with oneness, peace, and love. And as this light goes from left to right, making a beautiful circle it becomes a perfect ring of light. And in our minds, we empower it with tremendous energy, 
and we send it upwards as a column of light rising from this spot, going into space as a beacon, carrying with it the love of earth, the oneness we share, and the time of peace that we are establishing. This beacon is calling to all beings, joining with us in peace, and we see it connecting to every world, every star, every heart, and every life. It spreads out and diffuses throughout the cosmos this beautiful golden light. And so too, we see this light extending into the ground and across the earth beneath us. And this light of peace and oneness and love suffuses the earth in this light and every heart is illumined and every mind awakened and every dark place is filled with light. In this state of illumination, we ask the great being to give peace to the earth, to turn every selfish heart into an open fountain of love and generosity. And wherever there is hatred and enmity, we see peace being established. And wherever there is greed, we see altruism and generosity growing. And wherever we see separation and sadness, we see the joy of oneness and love. As we do this, we see the cosmos and all enlightened beings, material, celestial, and divine, joining with us, pouring forth this vision, and the earth coming to its time of peace, and the chaos ending. Now stretching before us, we see thousands of generations of humans living together in peace on the earth with wondrous new technologies and sciences that enable us to be in harmony with the earth. And with abundance we banish all disease and poverty and all injustice and all want. On the foundation of this peace and prosperity, we see the hearts of all humanity turning to the pursuit of enlightenment. And in this state, we are welcomed into the vast regions of the stars, and we become an interstellar species, and are welcomed into the family of planetary societies. As we gaze down through the ages, we ask the great being at this moment to set us forth in the direction of enlightenment. And in that instant, we see the time where every man, woman, and child abiding on earth is in a state of cosmic awareness, of God consciousness. The divine sciences and enlightenment prevail. We ask the Great Spirit that we may be channels, vehicles, tools for the establishment of this peace and the entry of humanity into enlightenment. And we see that we are joined by beings celestial, extraterrestrial, and divine, and that we are not alone, and we have never been alone. And we ask that this great being enable us to all work together in this establishment of universal peace and a universal civilization. This we leave as our cherished gift to our children and our children's children. And we are certain that this beautiful vision is already manifest, that the Creator has already given to us the knowledge, the sciences, and the wisdom to create this world and to manifest this reality. And we consecrate our lives to the establishment of this divine civilization. Namaste.